those moves though. Hey guys, it is Mira Simmer and welcome back to the Sims CLP part 42. <laughs> everybody welcome on back as you can see Alan has the moves right now um first of all I want to thank you guys so so much for 500 subscribers we just hit that a few days ago um actually before the new year which was my goal so thank you all so so much I love you guys so much it's amazing that 500 of you can put up with me and watch my dumb videos and all my insane sims and just wow I just still can't believe it so yeah thank you guys all so much I never thought I would get this far and um yeah a giveaway might be coming Sometime in the near future, I have to like get some money for that and everything, but hopefully I will be able to do some kind of thing to give back to you guys, because I definitely want to do that. Oh, there's Tiffany. Um, hi girl, what you, what you doing? Looking a little scary there. Um, but yeah, everybody, um, also I want to say sorry, I've been kind of missing in action the past couple of days. I've just been... Um, you know, busy, like, celebrating holidays and stuff, and being with family, and also been busy with, like, some other games and everything, so. Hope you guys forgive me, I'm just trying to take some time for myself on my break as well. And, um, yeah, this will probably go up when I am back in school now, so. Tiffany, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> um, so, yeah, just letting you guys know about that. Jan, what are you doing? Just, apparently we have cockroaches all over the place, even though it's in the snow. You think the snow would kill them, right? I mean... Uh, aren't cockroaches hard to kill, but I mean, you would think, but anyways, um, so yeah, everybody, welcome on back. In this part, I'm not really sure what I want to do. I definitely want to do a lot of, like, skill building for people, especially for Brooklyn, um, because she does have about, oh, Jan is sick with the, f oh, everyone just got the flu. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, my God, this completely, like, ruined my plans for this entire part. I guess Alan is the only left, and he's eating, like, a, a burnt muffin. Um, please don't get sick as well, because then all my sims are, like, gonna die. <laughs> no, they won't die. Um, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys this before. Um, my, like, greatest fear when I first started playing The Sims 2 was my sims getting sick and dying, because they're, like, I, like, when my sims first got sick for, like, the first time, I think they got, like, food poisoning or something, um... I, like, flipped out because I thought they would, like, die because I, like, looked it up and it was like, your sins could die if left untreated for how many ever days. And I was like, oh, God, no. I can't let them die. I've worked so hard. Really, I hadn't, but I was, I was like, freaking out. This used to be, like, my biggest fear, and I'm just like, well, screw you guys. Um, but yeah, it looks like, um, both Brooklyn and Jan got sick from these cockroaches. How nice. How nice. You know what I wish? When we call the exterminator, I wish they would come and pick up the... The cockroach bits. The, the tiddly cockroach bits. What did I just say? The, the tiddly cockroach bits. What I, I, I don't know what I am, guys. I don't. Um, <laughs> but wow, I guess everyone's sick now. Flu days. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and have Jan just get a nice late juice. This is something I always used to say to myself. Um, when my sims got sick in Sims 2, I was just like, let's just have them have a nice, a light, a juice. Yeah, you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. This is, like, nostalgia for me. Um, so yeah, I guess Jan in Brooklyn. Uh, dang it. I really wanted them to, like, work on skills and stuff, because, um, Brooklyn needed to work out to get her body skill for this. Um, she does become an elder in four days. Um, also, I needed Jan to be able to go to school and get this at least up to a D so that we can have her go to college, because she ages up in three days, and we need to get that done. Ah, okay, um... So, oh my gosh. Wow, my sims are idiots. Uh, like, who would just sit in the snow picking up cockroaches? I sure as heck would not. See, she won't stop thinking about them. Just, just stop. Um, Jan, once you finish your juice, I'm just gonna go ahead and have them sleep. That's usually the best way to take care of your sims when they're sick. No, not you two. No. Don't get the cockroach flu. Guys, stop it. Stop. We need to, like, hire a maid or something to go, like, get the cockroaches, because honestly, kind of want to do that. Um, but I think I'll have little Alan. Oh, yeah. One other thing I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys was I decided what I wanted to do with all the money that we got from Brooklyn's promotion the last part. I decided I want to buy a vacation house in, um, Twiki Island. Um, and maybe, like, for our finale part, we'll just have, like, a bunch of, we'll have, like, a big trip and have, like, all of the iconic sims that we met on this LP, such as, yes, Nene, we'll invite Tiffany, Garrett, Bigfoot, all of our friends to have, like, a little island getaway. Um, so yeah, that'll be coming soon, probably in the finale, I'm thinking. Um, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do with that. I'm not sure how much vacation houses are, but I'm hoping we should be able to afford it. But yeah, I wanted a little, 
little Mr. Allen to go ahead and um, do something because he's like legit the only sim we can play with right now besides Garrett because everyone else got sick. Garrett, please don't get yourself sick as well. <laughs> um, but I wanted him to go ahead and um, buy this little lemonade stand um, and uh, sell some lemonade even though it's snowing. Hey, who does not want some nice fresh lemonade? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Okay, Garrett, please don't get sick. Stop it. You know what? You haven't even seen your son yet, actually. Why don't you go ahead and meet this kid? Stop for a second. Say hello to your dad. Give him, give him a hug. Give him a hug. Because I don't think um, Garrett um, got a chance to see him. No, don't touch the cockroaches. They are like the plague. It's the cockroach plague. Oh my god, stop. Stop. Don't even. Okay. But yeah, Alan, say hello to your new father. You have not seen him before. Oh my god. Are you okay, Garrett? He, he's not okay, actually. Brooklyn has a day off today. Okay. Are you freaking kidding me? Garrett. Oh my god. Garrett. Do it. You have the family aspiration. Why? This is your own son. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay. Wow, Garrett. Just wow. The savages. I did not expect this from you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, Garrett. Don't so, so. give him a hug. Hey, Shaggy Jr., how's it going? Huh? Alright, there you go. Um, Garrett, you're staying AF, so why don't you go ahead and, um, go take a shower and all that stuff. As for Brooklyn, you should not be mopping. Go ahead and go sleep in your bed. Hopefully you can just sleep this cockroach plague off, um, because... I don't need that negativity in my life right now. Okay, no, 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 no. Stop with the cockroaches. You, stop. I will, like, hire a maid to just get rid of the cockroaches, like a one-time maid or something. Honestly. Okay, but yeah, why don't you go ahead and set your lemonade price? No, 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 no! I don't want everyone to get the cockroach plug. Okay, he's gonna sell some cheap lemonade. Oh my god, get them away. Why? It's because of Tiffany! Tiffany keeps coming in here and, like, she's coming on in here and kicking over a trash can and she's literally trying to kill the family. She's literally trying to kill the family. The cockroaches plague. Oh my god. Tiffany why? Tiffany why? Garrett wants Alan to get an A plus report card. I will be aiming for that, um, because I do want to get him into, like, private school and everything. Who knows if that will actually happen, but I'd like for it to happen. And I was also thinking, can Jen use the, um, to, to do this? Can she? Yes, yeah, she can. Because we might need to, um, Depending on, like, if we get, like, more snow days or something, if she can't go to school, we might need to, um, extend her teenage life a little bit just so that we can get her grade up slightly better so that she can go to university, because I definitely want to have a little episode where we revisit university, because I definitely want to do that. Also, some of you guys were asking if we were going to do a season 2 of this LP with, like, Jan. Um, I would definitely love to do that, because, as I've told you guys before, I have fallen completely in love with this family, and I definitely would not mind playing them again. And again and again. Um, so yeah, definitely a season two will probably be coming. I definitely want to do a couple LPs in between it, of course. Um, I'm planning on doing a... Um, planning on do Once this LP ends, I'm probably going to do the Sims 4 Asylum Challenge. Um, if you guys heard about that, um, sounds pretty interesting. And then once Showtime ends... Um, I'm going to just start University Life Season 2. So yeah, definitely in the future, sometime Sims 2, Season 2 will be coming, I promise you guys. Oh man, only two days left before Jan's birthday. It was an aspiration meter, as full as Jan's. There's not much to worry about. Actually, there is a lot to worry about. I don't know if you've seen Jan lately. <laughs> um, just make sure to avoid any fears so that Jan can carry the aspiration meter on to the next phase of life. Um, we will try, I guess. Um, so Alan, how is your lemonade business going on down here? Looks like it is going good. Going good. <laughs> Probably no one wants to buy lemonade. <gasps> Will you buy lemonade? Hello. Hello, Xander. Xander, I love your, like, your fashion sense right now. Those colors, they match. It looks so good. Take that lemonade. Buy it. Yes. Yes. Take that lemonade. Goodbye. Hopefully you don't get the cockroach plague. This is a lovely place to be selling fresh lemonade. Right here. Mm-hmm perfect but shaggy looks cute so i mean hey <laughs> um but yeah hopefully jim will get better because i definitely wanted to have her go out with alejandro um but no she had to go and get the cockroach plug why did my sims do this to me um another thing um <laughs> i don't know if you guys have heard about this but um there is this thing in sims 2 let me show you guys um 
It is an aspiration reward that you can get. It is called, what is it? Is this it? No, no, no. Where is it? Yeah, it's the Renew You Senso Orb. And basically, it like completely like redesigns your sim and gives them a new aspiration that you can choose. And um, one of the aspirations that you can get is called the Grilled Cheese Aspiration, which is probably the most hilarious thing ever. I've never played with it. Um, basically, all your sim wants in life is grilled cheese. And... I don't know, I kind of thought maybe it would be funny to do that with Garrett, like, once he becomes an elder, um, just because, like, I don't know, now he, he's done all he wants to do in his life, now he just wants to make grilled cheese. Let me know if you guys are interested in the grilled cheese aspiration, because I would definitely play with it, because it sounds so funny. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, Garrett, why don't you go ahead and keep working on your novel for a little bit? There you go, boo, there you go. Why do we still have our wedding cake? That was, like, days ago. Why are we such a mess, is the other question. Oh, Alan, I don't think anyone else is going to buy your lemonade. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boo. <laughs> I'll just have him go ahead and go inside then. Um, but yeah, I love Jan's snowman. Honestly, best snowman ever. Um, but yeah, oh dang it, it's like a Saturday, so Jan won't be able to, like, go into school for the next couple of days. Um, yeah, I think I will definitely probably, um, have to, like, renew her life a little bit more because I do want to be able to get into university so yeah we'll definitely have to work on that for a bit um but he's gonna come over here and play with cheese doodly for a little bit because cheese doodly is my bae Garrett's over here writing him and Brooklyn's love story <laughs> love story because just yes just yes how are you guys doing hopefully they are sleeping off that cockroach plague I am hoping hey Jan how's it going how is it going boo um, yeah, I'll go ahead and have her, um, take a bath as well. Just a nice, you know, relaxing bath. It'll help with her, her flu. Her cockroach plague, as I like to call it. Um, so yeah. Oh, look at little cheese dooley. Will cheese dooley ever die? My answer is, hopefully not, because he is honestly, he's immortal. Just look at him. How could he die? He's probably the best. Um, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and have most of my sims go ahead and head on off to bed, and I will see you all in the morning. She's, like, literally dying right now. Brooklyn, you need to chill. I mean, Sam. Oh, look at Jan being a good sister and tucking him in. Except don't, Jan. You are contagious. Stop. Okay, guys, bed. so I actually just remember something that we have not looked at yet in this LP, which we definitely should have been doing, I, like, completely forgot about until just now. We have Lifetime Aspiration Benefits, which are these points that give us different, like, benefits for our sims, like, um, pretty much, like, depending on your aspiration stuff. We can also choose a secondary aspiration, which I think I definitely want to do, because Brooklyn's main aspiration is pleasure, which is good, but I feel like as she gets older, maybe she cares a little bit more about family. So, as you can see, we could give her the grilled cheese aspiration, which we might do for Garrett. I uh, kind of want to do that. Let me know if you guys want me to do that, because I really want to. But yeah, we're going to give her the family aspiration, not only because we can get grandma's comfort soup, because we need that right now due to this cockroach flu. Uh, it's a family recipe passed down through generations. The savory soup increases the comfort of any sim who eats it. It also cures the sim of any sickness they may have, which we definitely need. So we're going to go ahead and have Brooklyn's secondary aspiration be family. And we'll go ahead and get grandma's comfort soup as well so that we can cure our sims so that we can move on with what I wanted to do in this part, which is throw a party. So, I mean, we can't really have a party if people are like spreading a contagious flu you get you feel me because I mean that would not be the best host you know um <laughs> um but yeah let's see let's see what else can we give her we could give her slower need decay for fun and comfort um fast metabolism Ooh, we don't need, really need that let's see maybe we can use some things for work um life of luxury gives us any vacation days we need Business instinct. Oh, I need this one, guys. While some sims may try to weigh the pros and cons of every decision, the profits often go to whoever makes the right choice the fastest. You always go with your gut, and your career chance card choices are right 80% of the time every time. Bless. I need this, because I always make terrible decisions, except for last time, which I actually made a good decision. But this will definitely help me, because then I'll have only a 20% chance of getting it wrong. I'm not sure what it was before. Maybe it was 50-50, but I could definitely use that, so thank you. Um... Let's see. Ooh, your friend requirement for any promotion in any career is reduced by one. Um, we need that because ain't nobody got time to make friends, let me just say. I'm just going to get, like, all the work ones because I definitely want her to be working on her career a lot more. Let's see what this is. Plead for job. Oh, 
A true go-getter doesn't let a little thing like getting fired stand in the way of their career. This interaction, available on all phones for 24 hours after getting fired, allows you to appeal to your boss for one last chance. Ooh. Um, I'll get that, just in case. I really hope we never get fired, but just in case, that'd be a good thing to have. Like, just in case I, like, amazingly screw up, it would be good just to have that, just in case. So we maxed out her work things. Um, let's see what else we could get. Um... Okay, yeah, let's get pleaded with the social worker because, I mean, with these these sims, who knows what would happen, like, if our kids get taken away, so I mean, yeah. So we went ahead and maxed out all of Brooklyn's, rela not relationship, lifetime aspiration points. Let's go ahead and take a look at Jan. Jan, let me take a look at you. Let's see, she wants the romance aspiration, so let's see, massive attraction. If there's one thing you know how to do, it's strike up a conversation with a hot stranger. Um, Jan, give me your skills. <laughs> Using a combination of psychology, wit, and sheer animal magnetism, you create a large boost in chemistry with any sim you meet. We should definitely do this, because I kind of want Jan to be, like, like the unlikely, like, um, sugar mama, honestly. Because, I mean, you wouldn't look at Jan and be like, oh yeah, she gets all the boys. But, I mean, she's a surprise, honestly. Slower need decay, hygiene, and energy. We can take that. Um, let's see. Local legend. There comes a time in every Casanova's life when their reputation begins to precede them. Word of your romantic prowess has spread throughout town. Oh, and neighbors of your preferred gender are more likely to be found coincidentally strolling past your house. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's see. What else can we get? I, won't, I don't want her to like all get that. We don't really need to worry about work right now. So I guess we'll go ahead and get her a few like need decay things just so she can like f focus more on school. So yeah, there's Jam. And let's see, as for Garrett, let me go ahead and take a look at him. He has mostly the family aspiration, but um, I kind of want to give him the grilled cheese aspiration. Oh my gosh. Uh, guys, just read this. This is literally my life. Grilled sandwiches are so delicious. Grilled sandwiches are so delicious. They are really quite wonderful to eat due to their high degree of deliciousness. Grilled cheese sims realize that th these are important truths about life, which are really just the one truth when you think about it. In any event, they just love to eat grilled cheese. Oh, High scoring aspirations. Serve grilled cheese. Make grilled cheese for sim. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is perfect. Oh, you can get a bottomless stomach, slower need decay bladder, and you can paint grilled cheese. Okay, sign me up! <laughs> We're gonna get the secondary grilled cheese aspiration. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this, but, I mean, this is basically my life goals, so let me just say. <laughs> okay, um, so let's see. Um, bottomless stomach. The cheesetarian lifestyle is currently not endorsed by any of the medical or nutritionary um, advisory boards, and it's not hard to see why. However, for someone whose two major food groups are cheese and buttery bread, same! <laughs> you manage to keep your figure remarkably trim. You gain fatness points from food much slower than normal sims. Hey, we'll take it. We'll just ma max out the grilled cheese, because I want to paint that freaking grilled cheese. Let me just say. I want to, like, frame it all over my house. Let me just say. Um, slower need decay bladder. All right. And, uh, paint grilled cheese. A little known and possibly true fact is that the first K paintings ever discovered depicted ancient sims making and eating grilled cheese sandwiches. Turophiles throughout the ages have upheld this glorious tradition with the masterworks such as the Gouda Lisa and the Swiss Teen Chapel. You can create your own foray into the genre by using any easel. Sign me up, honestly. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll go ahead and get him some slower need decays as well. So yeah, Garrett now has partly a grilled cheese aspiration, so I mean, um, what are you doing with your life, moment. right? <laughs> okay, Actually, guys, I want, um, um, I want Brooklyn to come on down here and make us up a big serving of Grandma's Comfort Soup so that she and Jen can have it, and this should immediately cure um, both of them of their illnesses so that they won't have any of that anymore, which will be really good. Because um, I'm planning on throwing a New Year's bash. Oh. We don't have groceries, so I mean, I guess we gotta order groceries. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I am planning on throwing a little New Year's bash since it is pretty much like the end of winter in my Sims game, and New Year's was just a few days ago in real life. By the way, Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. Um, it's like days late now, probably, but I mean, Happy New Year, guys. It's fine. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and order some groceries. But yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to throw a little bit of a New Year's bash since I believe that we can do that, and um... It'll be fun. So yeah, but I just don't want my sims to be sick while they have a party because then we're going to infect the entire town with the cockroach flu and that would not be good. That would not be good. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and make up some comfort soup. 
Honestly, the real good dedication is delivering groceries at 1.16 a.m. I mean, is this Amazon Prime or something? Because, I mean, already hey. made <laughs> that comfort soup. Mm. Yes. Honestly, I wonder how this tastes. I kind of, like, want to just eat Grandma's comfort soup. Oh, I guess she, the delivery girl just said she's going to live here now, so... Oh, no, she just had to take the other door. You know what? You do you. You do you, boo. You do you. <laughs> okay, but yeah. Brooklyn's going to go ahead and make up some comfort soup for her and Jan so that they will be cured of their illness. Meanwhile, Jan's just, like, out here at 2 a.m. That's definitely going to help your flu. Definitely. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love this LP. I'm going to be pretty sad when it's over, but... Don't worry, season two will be coming, and I'll probably put up the family um, for you guys to download if you have. Oh, I mean, same. That is Gucci high heels. Mm. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, Alan apparently his diet consists of burnt muffins. So I mean, I'm sure that's good for him. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jan. Why don't you go ahead and go grab yourself some magical grandma's comfort soup. I wish this was like in... Oh, Jan is healthy again. We didn't even have to drink, have to drink soup. Wow. Interesting. But yeah, we'll still take some soup. I wish this was like real in real life. Because like I would love to just like have some soup and then I'm not sick anymore. Like, please. Please. I had a cold recently. I, I've gotten over that, by the way. But I would just... I wish that was a thing. Because that would be great. Honestly. I wish so many things that are in The Sims were a thing. Like, please. Um, but yeah, just a casual family enjoying soup at 3 a.m. Can Does Garrett even know how to make grilled cheese? Uh, by the yeah, way. I don't even think he does. He'll definitely have to work on, her cook on his cooking skill, because, I mean, what even is going to be his life if he doesn't even know how to make grilled cheese? Because, I mean, that's basically his other life goal, so, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. You are not going outside with those cockroaches. Um... Can we, like, call, like, a one-time mate or something? Oh, Brooklyn wants to have a baby, but we will age up to an elder in, like, three days. I don't think that's happening, boo. Sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have, um, Alan go on the computer and play some Sims 3. Just cause, um, and we might need to, like, see if we can, like, call, like, a one-time maid and then, like, an exterminator. Like, first we'll call the exterminator, then we'll get, like, a one-time maid and see if we can finally get these cockroaches out of here because... They've just been, like, haunting our life for, like, ever. So, I mean, that soup really hit the spot. I can feel my sickness melting away. Okay, cool. So, um, Brooklyn, why don't you go ahead and call up a service. Jan just rocking out, as always. Um, yeah, first we're gonna go ahead and call up the exterminator, and then we'll get, like, a one-time maid to, like, finally clean up all those cockroaches. Because it is needed. Um, yes. So it will be over today. Yep, okay. Cool, cool. Aw, she wants to light a fire in the fireplace. Maybe we'll do that at the party. Even though that never goes well for us. Whenever I light a fire, it always seems to, like, catch the entire house on fire. But I mean, okay, it's fine. Yeah, we still moved our coffee table over here because it caught on fire last time we lit a fire. So I mean, yeah, no. Um, oh, look at her stretching. <laughs> okay, so she's going to go ahead and put away leftovers. As for Garrett, he should be up pretty... Oh, he's just sleeping on Jan's bed because that's not creepy at all. That's not creepy. I actually want to buy him an easel so that it, we can see him do a beautiful grilled cheese painting because, honestly, art goals. Art goals. I wish I could paint grilled cheese. Like, I, that is, like, art skills that I want. Well, just, like, put it on the balcony so it can be, like, all artistic. Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll definitely have to have Garrett get up and um, paint grilled cheese. Aw, yeah. Ooh, paint a portrait. Does Garrett have skills? Whoa, Garrett is actually really good at creativity. He should, like, do a painting of Brooklyn. Kinda, like, really want to do that. Oh. She's like, you better pay me like one of your French girls, Garrett. <laughs> okay, but yeah, once Garrett gets up, maybe he should just, like, paint everybody at the party, honestly. <laughs> that would be so funny. Um, yeah. Whoa, I didn't even know Garrett had, like, painting skills. What do you know? Oh, he can paint a portrait. Oh, he should paint a portrait of the family. That would be so cute. Um, but yeah, he will definitely be okay. doing that. So, oh, look at them. Switch keys. Um, okay, so Garrett's gonna go ahead and head on out here. And first of all, Tiffany, what are you doing? Second of all, Garrett, paint this grilled cheese, girl. I just call Garrett a girl, but it's fine. Paint that grilled cheese. Relationship goals. I like how we just have Jan as, like, a constant soundtrack to this game, honestly. <laughs> okay, but yeah, he's gonna go out here and paint this grilled cheese. Because he is a master. Tiffany, get out of my house. Brooklyn, see if you can, like, 
you know, like, make things up with Tiffany. Like, I really, really want to. For some reason, the game thinks they have a romantic relationship, but I did not want that. Let's see if they can kind of make their friendship up, because I feel like they have not been doing so well lately. We're going to tell her an inside joke, because, look, we, we were best friends in college. She had a little bit of a falling out at the wedding. Maybe Tiffany... Maybe Tiffany had a thing for us, but we just didn't really, Brooklyn didn't really know about it. And then when she saw uh, Jan, not Jan, when she saw Brooklyn and Garrett getting married, it was just, she got really sad, I guess. Because maybe Tiffany all along really did like Brooklyn in like a romantic way, but Brooklyn just didn't feel the same. I'm thinking that might be what the deal is. Probably. Um, let's take a look at Garrett. Oh, yes, hunty. Looking good. Cannot wait to see the finished product. Um, but yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on these two because I don't want the game to, like, make them flirt or something and then have, like, Garrett accuse her of cheating because I don't need that kind of mess in my life, honestly, so. But yeah, I'll just have them kind of, they seem like they are, like, they're kind of, like, making it up to each other. They're, like, like old times. I'm glad. It's like, they're best friends. I don't want to let that go just because of Tiffany. Like, girl, I know you liked me and... Um, I know you liked me, but it's just not gonna work out, but we can still be friends. I think that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, let's go ahead and ask her about what, what she wants. Like, what's her- oh, she wants to see a wolf. I mean, me too. Me too. Let's go and ask her what she fears. Fire? Okay, that, that's reasonable. That is reasonable. Um, let's go ahead and tell her a story about fame, because actually I looked at Brooklyn's reputation and she is a sociable celebrity since she's like so famous in her career and everything, like, yes, Brooklyn, you go, girl, you go. Brooklyn, not Brooklyn. Here, how's your painting going? Cannot wait to see it, cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I think they are finally, like, making it up, you know, and I'm just glad, because... They were kind of like in a bad place. They had some bad blood for a little while, but it's nice to see them being friends again, you know? So yeah, they're just gonna kind of play around a little bit. Jan is jamming. Yeah, we'll go ahead and apologize. Like, girl, I'm sorry, but it's just not gonna work out. Here is the exterminator. Hello. Hello, boys. Okay, the snowman right now. Actually me. I have like the worst posture ever. This is literally me. Literally me. Um, okay. Yeah, Alan, will you actually make a muffin that's not burnt? Will we ever see the day when he does that? Because every time I see him come downstairs with a muffin, it is super burnt. Let's watch. This is, like, Food Network, Chopped, Extreme, Welcome to Hell's Kitchen, Alan Edition. Nope, nope, not today. <laughs> someday, maybe someday, but it is not this day. Oh, I'm so glad they finally made up. Aw, I love them. You know, just best friends from college. Um, taking care of your pest problems. Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, call up a maid. Uh, and that's just like the maid in here, and we're just like, um, yeah, you get to clean up cockroaches. Have fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, now we'll go ahead and call up the maid so that she will hopefully take care of all those cockroaches and we can just stop with this. Tiffany is does not have beef with us anymore, so hopefully we'll be good. Hello, Miss Maid. Okay, we'll clean up all these cockroaches. Um Okay, yeah, we just need her for this day. Um, so we'll probably cancel it pretty soon. Um, we just need her to like clean up the cockroaches today. That's all we really need. Um, but yeah. Ooh, Garrett. Yes, hunty. Ooh, yes. That looks beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, why does everyone like to sleep in Jan's bed? This is so creepy, honestly. Here goes Alan just eating his his bird muffins as always. Um but yeah, what does he want to do? Oh, I just want some lemonade sand to be smashed. Oh, ooh. Um, but yeah, um, Garrett, who should throw the New Year's bash? I'm thinking I kind of want Brooklyn to, since she probably knows the most people. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do. Throw a party. We're gonna throw a New um, Year's see. bash. I, I hate how we can only invite two people. Like, why? We're like a celebrity. Why can we only invite two people? Obviously, so we need lame. to invite Bigfoot to our New Year's bash because what's a party without Bigfoot? Am I right? Um, I think Tiffany is already kind of here, so I don't think we need to really invite her because she's already kind of at the house, so she'll just be there, I guess. Um, who else should we invite? Honestly, we, like, have no other friends. <laughs> let's be real. Um, we could invite see. Nene, but at the same time, 
I, I, when, nothing ever goes good when we invite Nene. We will invite her on our, like, finale, like, vacation to the islands, but for now, mm, Nene not. actually has friends, so I guess we'll go ahead and invite over Yvette, and I think Jam will go ahead and invite over Alejandra as well, but I guess this is our, this is our small little party, it's fine. Yes, sir, I'll invite, get ready to party at 8 tonight. Oh, let's have a blast for the new year. Oh. Some of them won't even show up. Bigfoot, you better show up. Oh, okay. So I guess we're having our party tonight at 8. So we might end up doing that in the next part. Oh, here's the maid. Hello. Hello, boo. Oh, oh, oh my god, no. What's happening? Is Shaggy dying right now? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't even know. No, Shaggy Jr. No. Guys, Jan, stop. No. No. How is anyone not caring about this right now? Garrett's just getting something from the fridge. Oh no! Shaggy Jr. No! No! Oh my god! Oh uh, no! No! Shaggy Jr. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know! This is so sad! Shaggy Jr. is up and died, guys! <laughs> oh! I guess he was pretty old. He was an old dog, but still, I'm so sad. How are any of my sims not caring? I'm literally the only one that cares. Brooklyn's asleep. The maid's just cleaning the stank toilet. Someone go, like, mourn him or something. Jan, come mo mourn him. Oh, this isn't good, Shaggy Jr. Hi, Valamo. Catch a move. Come over here. Everyone's just like going to sleep. I mean, same. Oh, uh, what do you know? Here's Garrett just making grilled cheese, following his life dreams at least. Following his life dreams. But no, Shaggy Jr. died. I'll put a little montage to Shaggy Jr. at the end of this video. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. I didn't even realize what was happening. The game didn't even tell me. Oh my god! Oh, I feel so sad now! Rest in peace, Shaggy Jr. You were a really, really cute and amazing and adorable dog. I love you. Wow, I feel so sad! Oh no! Well guys, I guess on this really sad note, we're gonna end this part off here. In the next part, we will be having a New Year's Bash. Um, so hopefully that will go pretty well. But, oh, I'm so sad about Shaggy Jr. No! I didn't even know what was happening. The game didn't even notify me. I just, I, I go downstairs and I see death just in my kitchen. I'm just like, hi? What are, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and end the part here. Oh man, I'm so sad. In the comments down below, leave me your favorite Shaggy Jr. moment because I love Shaggy Jr. Let me just say, I'm really sad now. <laughs> Wow. At least Cheese Dooley will never die, right, guys? Cheese Dooley is immortal. I'm just gonna say that right now. Ne next thing I know, Cheese Dooley dies. Like, I'm, I don't even know. But yeah, guys, I guess I'll go ahead and end this part here. Sorry not too much interesting things happened in this part. Mostly, we were just kind of messing around with some aspiration benefits and everything. And, I mean, I guess Shaggy Jr. freaking died on us. Um, oh, I'm so sad. Let's go ahead and move his grave, though. Oh, not Jan. Who's awake right now? Garrett, why is everyone going to bed? Garrett, why don't you go ahead and move the grave? I want to go ahead and move it outside somewhere. Oh man, guys, I'm so sad. Oh, we could move it um to like a grave, uh, bleh, a graveyard, but I think I want to go ahead and move it outside, just on our lot somewhere. Let's go ahead and put it up on this hill if we could, except we can't. So I mean, never mind. Can we like delete some of these flowers or something? No, because they have so many weeds. Saying I just want to put them like under the nice tree or something. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and, oh, we'll put him out by his doghouse. I feel so sad. Aw, rest in peace, Shaggy Jr. Oh, I miss him. Okay, guys, this is like a really sad part. Like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I love you all so much, and I'll see you on the next part. Bye, everybody.